bum ba da bum <laughs> Greetings and welcome! Um, today I'm gonna talk about a topic that I have been avoiding for a long time for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, I didn't think it was necessary to address. Reason number two, if and when I did address it, I didn't want to come off as a jerk. I didn't want to come off as inconsiderate to other people's experiences and I didn't want to come off as conceited. But we're going to be talking about um, my natural status. Natty or not. <laughs> I really didn't think I needed to talk about this, but recently I have been seeing some like Natty or not reviewers whom usually I just write off as like clearly they are just clickbait. But some of them that I've seen, I've seen comments of people saying that I said that I was on PEDs and that I was using tests and things like that, which first of all is completely ridiculous. When did I say that? When did I say that? Never have I said that I've used PEDs. But you know, I'm not doing this video to diss anybody else or come for anybody else. This is just to talk about my experiences and also to speak for myself. First of all, I would like to say, I think it's important to remember that you really cannot tell if somebody is on PEDs unless they tell you, I'm on PEDs, or you've seen them shoot up, or they've had their blood work done, and it shows that they're using things. Because there's a lot more people that use than you would think. There's people that you would look at and not think that they are doing anything extra to look that way, but they are. And then there's people that aren't doing anything and people assume that they are, and they're not. Me personally, I have not. I don't see a reason to. I really don't want this to come off as conceited or ignorant, but I would consider myself like a pretty regular gym goer. Like I just like the gym. I don't compete. I just do it because I like to work out and I like to share my experiences and my knowledge and things like that. So do you need PEDs for a physique like mine? No, absolutely not. Are there people that probably would need PEDs? Maybe. Am I saying to use them? I'm not. Am I saying people that use PEDs are somehow not valid? No, I'm not saying that at all. PEDs are just part of the, the sport for the most part. This like different sports within fitness, bodybuilding, powerlifting, blah, 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 blah. So I think to try and shame those people for whatever reason is ridiculous and a little bit silly. Clearly I have some genetic strong points. I have abdominal muscles that show, even at a slightly higher body fat percentage, I don't store a lot of fat around my midsection. That's just me. Not everybody is going to be like that. Some people have very lean legs and store fat in other places. Some people have very lean muscular arms and store fat in other places. You know, it's just how the cookie crumbles at the moment. I wouldn't even consider this like a peak physique for me because I like to have fun in life. There are things that are fun for me. Not everybody's going to consider this fun and that's fine. Fun is obviously subjective, but I like to go out to eat with my friends. I like to stay up late at night and not get enough sleep. Ooh. I like to eat what I want when I want. So maybe if I changed all of those things and ate on point, and cut out certain things that I consume and get enough sleep, the physique would be astounding. And then it would maybe make sense for people to be like, oh, I'm questioning. But as it is now, zero reason to question, in my opinion. Not to discredit other people, but I do think that a lot of people can achieve what I've achieved with some patience and consistency. Those are the two most important things. Even at the moment, I've been struggling pretty heavily with some body dysmorphia because I've changed my workout routine as of recent just to focus on some other things, just switch it up. Cause I did more like hypertrophy bodybuilding style workouts for a very long time. Nice. And just the last few months, I started to try out some powerlifting stuff just because I've never done that before. It seems pretty popular. I thought maybe I'd try it. Um, it has definitely improved my lifts. 
but it has caused a good amount of body dysmorphia because I don't feel the same in my body doing these different kind of workouts. So I don't really feel that nice. It is what it is. Truthfully, I think it is equally as harmful to accuse natty people of being PED users as it is for a PED user to deny that they use. Mainly because, let's say somebody thinks I'm using. So they see this physique and they think this physique is not attainable unless I start using. So I have to use to look like that, which is totally not true. You just need time, consistency, and some discipline. This is a very attainable natural physique. I don't want to be <laughs> inconsiderate and say everybody can do it, but it's definitely not impossible. It's very much so possible. And I don't want people to think that they have to use to look like this. That's that's kind of dangerous. Ooh. I don't understand why these other people don't recognize that. So getting into what I do take at the moment, I take Gorilla Mine Nitric, which is non-stimulant pre-workout. I've been trying out the fat burners. I've been trying out the cortisol uh, repressor thing, suppressor. Raulstein, Raulstein. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> But it's, it's on the Gorilla Mind website. Bruh. Um, and sometimes I take mode if I'm feeling crazy, but I try not to take too much caffeine and I like the EAAs. But just to clarify, supplements are not magic. They're kind of just to help you with the last little push, the last little 10%. But your workouts are trash, your diet is trash, your sleep is trash, then you're really not gonna be getting that much out of those. So. Those are things to think about, huh? Oh. And to wrap it up, be careful what you see on the internet. I would be wary of information that outsiders give you because take it with a grain of salt. Take it as a form of entertainment, but not of news. And um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk and adios.